Hey there, Hiyo here and welcome to a how-to video. You're most likely here because you're in Gary's Mod Cinema servers and those darn movie screens aren't playing YouTube videos or other content. No worries, fixing this isn't hard at all and by following just a few simple steps, you'll be joining friends on these fun servers. Step 1. Enabling Chromium Gary's Mod by default uses its own browser for accessing content on the internet, such as YouTube. But the browser is unfortunately out of date and doesn't support much in the form of videos anymore. That's where Chromium comes into play. To enable this, open up Steam and go to your library. Find Gary's Mod and right-click it. And go to Properties. A new window will pop open. Go on over to Betas and click there. In here, you can select a beta to be a part of. It's most likely says None at the moment. Click on the box that says None and a drop-down appears. Click the option that says x86-64 Chromium plus 64-bit binaries. Once you do this, Steam will download the beta in the background and you can now close this window. Step 1 is now done. Great! Now, on to Step 2, getting those codecs everyone's talking about. Codecs are the decoders for video files, and without them, lots of videos such as ones from Dropbox, Google Drive, or even other special files won't play at all, and you'll be left out on some really cool content. To fix this, we'll need to go to a website. No worries, the links for this website is in the video description down below. On this page, there are downloads for different operating systems. Find the one that's for you. In this case, I'm using Windows, so I'll download that. Most computers will either allow you to choose a download location, however, if it doesn't, the file will most likely be in your downloads folder. To get there, on your desktop you should have a folder icon. Click there, and your file explorer will show. On the left of this window in Quick Access will be your downloads folder. Click there. Now depending on how much you've downloaded, there might be a lot in here. Just look for the file. It will be a blue G, like pictured in this video. Before we continue, I suggest making a shortcut to this file on your desktop. To do this, right-click the file, hover over Send To, and then click Desktop. This will create the shortcut. If for some reason videos begin not working again, this means that codecs may have been updated and running the fix again may be required. In fact, some people even just launched Gary's Mod using this file. To do so, you'll need to run the file by double-clicking it. Windows may prompt you with a window saying that it's protecting you. If at any point you see this window when you don't know where a file came from, I would suggest clicking Don't Run. However, we do know where this file came from, so click More Info and click Run Anyway. The file will now open a command line and will look automatically for your install of Gary's Mod and then apply the codex to the game. After it's done, it will ask you if you'd like to launch the game. Here, you want to press 2, and then press Enter. And guess what? You're done! Congrats! Now you just have to join back on the cinema server you were at and start watching videos. Have fun! Anywho, that's all for me today. If the vid helped you, don't forget to leave a like. Got questions? I may have answers. Leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get to you as soon as I can. But until next time, this is Hayo, signing off.